this might be, if I can talk right, the shortest anarchy moment ever. So here in Fort Collins, we have this person named Pat Stryker. She's worth $2 billion, so she has a lot of money. She, she's a rich person, but it's okay that she's rich because she's a Democrat. Anyhow, that's not the point. Because I've, I've crossed paths with Pat Stryker a few times. I've talked to her. She didn't try to drink my blood or anything. I mean, we obviously, you know, she supports Obama and she's a statist, yada, 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 yada. But this isn't attacking Pat Stryker. If anything, it's the opposite. Because here's the thing. Pat's, Pat Stryker spends a lot of money here in Fort Collins. She does a lot of stuff to support the arts, music especially. But so she puts a lot of, you know, her money, her company's money. She has a organization she founded. I think she, I'm pretty sure she founded it. I don't know that for a fact. She runs it. I would imagine she founded it. That its purpose is to promote arts and culture. Right? So she's doing, she's actually doing things to promote arts and culture instead of just fucking talking about it. And that is something I can admire. That's something I can stand behind. Anyhow, so she puts a lot of money into the Fort Collins area. She does a lot of stuff. And because of that, people who are on the receiving end of that money are very supportive of her. Which, okay, this is not a surprise. To the point that they are absolutely terrified of any dissent with Pat Stryker. Not just when Pat Stryker's in the room, and I'll talk, I'll get to that in a second. But even when she's not in the room, because I'm somewhere the other day and I'm working with this guy and I said something about, yeah, I heard Pat Stryker has another holiday party coming up. And he immediately became defensive. Don't you talk bad about Pat Stryker. She puts a lot of money, she pays a lot of people money, she keeps a lot of people working. I didn't talk bad about Pat Stryker. I made a statement. I said that I heard another Pat Stryker holiday party was coming up. This is a statement. It's completely neutral. It's judgment-free. It was a statement. And yet, statist left-wing fuckwads like this person I was talking to are so ingratiated to, you know, and of course, this person I'm, who did, said this is a left-wing statist, liberal Democrat, Obama humper, hates rich people, but could not get his lips on Pat Stryker's ass fast enough after I simply made a statement. And God forbid Pat Stryker be in the room and you be talking to her because some people, you know, there are some people who talk to Pat Stryker like she's a normal person. But there are other people that, if you're talking to Pat Stryker like she's a normal person, they are absolute, they'll just stand there watching just terrified. They're so scared that you're going to, like, disagree with Pat Stryker about something or have an opinion different than hers or treat her like she's a real person. You know, you're, that you're going to, and it's just like, don't disagree with Pat Stryker. To agree with whatever she said, you know, don't, don't talk to her like that. I'm just looking at these people going, you are a fucking sociopathic suck up fuckwad. Because Pat Stryker is a fucking grown woman. I mean, she's an adult. And I have to wonder, what's it like to be Pat Stryker? to be surrounded by people who, because you have a lot of money, are terrified to disagree with you, who are essentially treating you like a small child. Like if Pat Stryker and I are standing there and we're talking and Pat says, yeah, I think we should paint this room red. And if I said, well, you know, Pat, I think green would be better. Like she's so emotionally and psychologically fragile that she can't handle me disagreeing with her about what color to paint the walls. 
I mean, I, and like I, said, I don't know. I'm not her. I'm only me. I have nobody else's worldview or experiences. But I would think this would get to be really fucking insulting and tiring after a while. And this isn't the shortest anarchy moment over, probably. Because I actually didn't think I'd be able to say this much about it. But I mean, that's just the main point. I mean, I, I wonder if Pat Stryker, this woman who's worth $2 billion, this woman who co organizes, brings together people and organizes all sorts of events, runs corporations, does all this stuff, I wonder if she ever gets tired of being treated like a fucking child by the people around her.